Hello from Alpha Cars. This is Dimitri reporting from our box bar location. Together, we're going to take a look at uh, one of a kind. I don't think there's another one like this. This is 1977 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. And this car has a very happy uh, history, which we hope it will continue with the next owner. And uh, it started its life in... Uh, it was sold out of New Jersey, and shortly after that couple moved to uh, Arizona. And that's probably the reason the car is still in the condition that it is close to original, because it spent most of its life in Arizona. About 10 years ago, a couple traded the vehicle to a uh, Buick Pontiac dealer, and they sold the vehicle to uh, our local customer. He bought it 10 years ago, enjoyed the car, as a collector, he put less than 2,000 miles, I believe, and uh, maintained the car and recently traded it with us along with another Cadillac for a Mercedes S-Class. So let's take a closer look to this coupe. And by the way, in 1977, Cadillac made a tough decision to make their cars much smaller. So this is, believe it or not, a smaller variant of the Cadillac in the late 70s. This was the first year of, at the time, new body style. It is a gorgeous body style. We love it. Everybody loved it. And by today's standard, it's an enormous car huge but back then it for Cadillac it was downsizing so let's look at this uh, small car by Cadillac standards the interior is incredible it's got the smell believe it or not it's got the smell of the 70s and 80s and it's not a bad smell it's actually I'm talking in a positive way check out the headliner it's awesome um, it, the, the headliner is in, in great condition. There are a couple of small spots with a very, very light, um, sagging. It's barely noticeable. We decided not to touch it, but it certainly, uh, can be easily addressed. The front portion looks really nice. So the dashboard is incredible. Carpets, everything is original. The bolts and hardware, everything is original. The car has never been in a major or any rack it we know it had a small cosmetic repair on the left side we'll show it to you when we get there but so far on the right side it's incredible tires hubcaps chrome moldings everything lines up beautifully all the name plates are positioned properly and they're positioned by cadillac factory left side uh, we believe uh, we know we were told left fender had a minor cosmetic damage that was uh, repaired by uh, the first owners at the Cadillac dealer. And I, we believe that they um, just blended adjacent panels uh, and the paint, according to our paint measurement on this car, ranges from 3.0 to five and a half. Uh, five and a half on the left side. And we believe that when they did the fender repair just to make sure the paint matches beautifully there was no technology back then for uh, computer tinting they simply uh, refinished left side they did a great great job so let's get inside let's get the vehicle started and we'll take it for a quick spin we do have two sets of keys for the vehicle As we enter the vehicle, we are greeted with very rich, very luxurious, and a very smooth interior. The seat is nice and tight. It has true leather uh, with minimal to no wear on the bolster. There's a little bit of wear in this area. That's about it. Beautiful surfaces, leather surfaces, carpets. All the trim is in place, uh, no typical aging on the, on the trim. So let's get the vehicle started. It is a cold start, so we're going to start the vehicle cold. Um, 
just to make sure it is cold, we're going to uh, we're going to pop the hood. There it is. Very smooth cable operation, by the way. And let's open the hood. Take a peek. I will prepare for exercise. The hood is open. We have a separate video for underbody and um, engine overall. So I'm going to put my hand on the hand on the exhaust manifold, and it's absolutely cold. Hi there. So the engine is uh, cold. Let's get it started. And by the way, the roof is beautiful. The um, roof extension uh, that looks leather-like is incredibly nice and tight. All the moldings are straight. They're not warped. They're clearly original from the factory. This glass was never removed. You can see the edge lines are beautifully. The stitching is nice. Uh, and all the lights work on the car. It's a gorgeous car at night uh, with all the lights around it. So back inside, we are ready to start it. Put the key in. The key is nice and tight. It's sometimes GM, they get loose, loosened up. This one clearly is not the case. Um, putting the key in, ignition on. The buzzer sound from the 80s. The RPM is a little bit higher than usual because the engine is cold, but it's been sitting on the sun, so it's not that cold. Let's go over the rest of the interior. We mentioned that the headliner has a very light separation, but overall looks very, very nice. All the trim around the vehicle is nice and tight. It's complete throughout. Okay, previous customer had all the kinds of bags uh, to protect the vehicle from uh, from mice and from anything else that might enter the vehicle. He never had those issues. Here's the electronic climate control. We're going to set it to 72 and a half degrees. I'm sure it will maintain that temperature accurately. Uh, the clock works beautifully. We have half tank of gas and we're going to disclose a light uh, a small surface crack on the dash that's the only one and if you ever walk out on the parking lot and see and see a bunch of Cadillacs in this color lined up just to know which one is yours you can always identify it by this little crack um, so the everything on the dash otherwise is beautiful there's a one small crack separation right here on the trim of the horn button works beautifully on both sides and of course in the middle this massive and very functional door handle is nice and tight uh, the brackets are not loose anywhere the switch panel is nice and tight all the windows work awesome you can see they're fast and they're huge driver's window same thing works very very nice chrome around the door handle is beautiful on both sides engine idle just settled in so we are going to be fine for the road test let's take a walk around the vehicle real quick I'm gonna park it so that the both sides of the vehicle are have equal amount of lighting from the sun the transmission engages beautifully uh, no abrupt shifting forward reverse let's do it again so when we put it in drive you don't even hear anything put it in reverse you don't hear anything I have my foot on the brake we're in reverse I'm gonna give it a little bit of gas 
nice response, no banging. I'm going to do the same thing and drive. Nice response, no banging. I'm sure most people know what I'm doing and why. So we are exiting the vehicle. The engine sounds awesome. Check out the smooth sound from American V8. One of the best engines ever produced. We look at the passenger side of the vehicle. I don't see no dings, no wrinkles, no creases. It's a straight car all around. A stencil applied a pinstripe is not black. It's actually dark, dark green, very, very dark green. Driver's side, equally nice. I don't see any creases or any body lines on uh, uh, any issues with body lines. When I look up closely, I can tell that I can see it under this light. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I can tell that the texture on the fender uh, and the door is a little different and you have to be good to see it. I'm sure a majority of people will not notice this difference but I've looked at so many cars over you know 35 40 years that I can tell uh, the slight difference in the texture they still did a phenomenal job but I want to tell you what it is and again none of the panels were replaced we have a separate video on this where we look at the bolts and uh, in the engine compartment fender bolts and front uh, header panel bolts We'll look at that. So we're gonna take the vehicle for uh, a test drive. I'm looking forward to that. Today, I drove another rare, very rare car um, that is very different. A 2001 BMW M5, there it is in the front. I'm actually gonna take the plate off of it. We're gonna need it for this car. And then we're gonna take this car for our, for our test drive. miles we continue our segment on this car we already have a video for the a very thorough video for the underbody of the vehicle engine compartment we just did the vehicle exterior overview and I just took it out on the road and uh, the first impressions are awesome we put it in drive and there's gonna be a little bit of bumpy area which I don't even feel in this car. So for those of you that are not familiar with this vehicle, it is 1977 Cadillac and a little bit of history. This car was sold brand new out of New Jersey. Shortly after the purchase, the couple that bought the car moved to Arizona where they enjoyed the car. And about 10 years ago, they traded the car to a GMC Pontiac Buick dealer who subsequently subsequently sold the vehicle to our local customer here in Massachusetts he transported the vehicle and he has a small car collection he enjoyed the car I think he only put a couple thousand miles and maintained the car properly he recently traded this Cadillac and a late model Cadillac for a newer Mercedes S-Class and uh, we have a pleasure of uh, having this car. And Currently this Cadillac is available. You can find it on our website alphacars.com. I am uh, entering route 495 north direction. We're going to take uh, a little bit of highway driving and continue with our road test on the back roads. So I need to move the seat a little bit closer. All the power controls in this vehicle work fine. I'm gonna lift it up a little bit. And recline it back. Oh, this thing is gorgeous. So we're traveling at about 65 miles an hour. 
it feels like I'm not even touching the gas pedal. We're going uphill and the vehicle just feels phenomenal. There's not a shimmy, no vibrations. It is just incredible. An outstanding driving experience. As I said, I just had a 2001 BMW M5 with manual transmission. Awesome car, but a different car. Both cars represent the best your money can buy in its particular segment. There's not a lot of cars you can buy and get so much joy in this price range, like this Cadillac, for example. Turning the radio on, scrolling for the station. Yes, you have to scroll for the station. Yeah. It sounds very good. We're going to leave it for the next owner to enjoy the radio. We'll concentrate on driving and uh, reporting you how this car feels. So we are now at 72 miles an hour. We're going to pick up a little bit more speed. It downshifted and it moved. Oh my God, my phone fell off the dashboard, off the mount. So it does have the power and it takes right off. We gained some speed. We're back to a little over 70 miles an hour to make sure that uh, everybody's happy who's watching the roads. We're about to take the exit ramp and I am slowing down, hitting the brakes. The brakes are nice and smooth, no vibrations. Uh, yeah, we're getting to the exit ramp, slowing down. And in the background, you can see a little bit of sagging from the headliner. This is an optional uh, repair that we can offer. And it's not bad at all. Uh, some people will do it themselves. Some people will have a shop that they work with. Uh, we may end up doing it. So uh, make sure you check with us if this work was done. Obviously, it will be reflected in the price of the vehicle. Uh, currently, it's offered uh, just the way it is. And it's probably the only disclosure that we have to make on this car. Everything else on this car works awesome. So it's a little different in turns compared to, to that M5 that I drove, but it's a lot more comfortable and it's very rewarding when you complete the exit ramp at certain speed, you feel good about it. You made it and you, yeah, like I feel awesome that uh, it, it's, it's very rewarding feeling. So we're actually getting an on-ramp to go back on uh, 495. And it actually handles very nice. My body slides a little bit in the seat. It doesn't have any type of bolster. So I have my left arm supporting me so I don't slide into the door. Or I can simply go slower in the exit ramp. Nothing wrong with that approach. So we now have the driver's side facing the direct sun the we know the left front fender had cosmetic minor uh, bodywork paint work I would say the fender was not removed all the parts are original we we looked at that closely through our underbody video uh, underbody inspection video so let's take a walk around the vehicle with the vehicle facing uh, the Sun with the driver's side gorgeous body lines impeccable chrome super clean uh, hubcaps let's take a peek in the trunk the latch works beautifully check that out yep you can put a couple of people here if you don't have enough room uh, in the cabin they'll be a little tight but uh, they will they can make it yeah the spare wheel is there the floor mats and the proper color are uh, with the car the carpet is glued to the floor pan and it's all in good condition we're gonna take a peek inside there the camera adjusted nicely it's all good and original look at those bolts it's all good and original no wrinkles still original factory undercoating on the rear body panel we will do the same on this side 
give a camera a moment to adjust. Look at that. Look at this. Where do you find a car in this condition these days? Isn't that something? Look at the original clips. Original window sticker, uh, not window sticker, original jack usage instruction sticker. We do have the original invoice. We're gonna see in just a moment. Look at the condition of the lock. The screws that nobody ever touched with the screwdriver. The trunk feels awesome. The latch is back on and it aligns beautifully. So let's go in and look at the service records. Welcome to our small conference room. We're gonna check out service records for the 1977 Cadillac DeVille. And of course, we will provide these records as a part of the purchase. And if someone wants to look a really, really close look at the records, we have them available as a PDF for uh, qualified buyers. Uh, so we have the original warranty information for new cars from Cadillac. Here's the VIN on the bottom. And the vehicle had seven miles when it was first delivered to the original owner. The vehicle has two owners. Maintenance schedule. The vehicle was maintained in Arizona. The delivery took place in New Jersey shortly after the couple moved to Arizona. And you have all these different goodies, including something you don't get when you buy a collectible car. You don't get it very often. We have a photograph of the couple when they apparently took delivery of the vehicle. Uh, we have owner's manual in great condition. Check that out. And we get into the service records. This was the uh, original sale invoice dating to 09-09-1977. And as you can see, it was almost $12,000 purchase, pretty expensive. Uh, here's the pre-delivery inspection procedure. And then we got into the stack of records for the uh, for the current owner, as you can see, oil services, uh, electrical, new shocks, front and rear, pull and flush, oil, uh, oil service, new brake master cylinder, oil service, and yeah, we used to see these invoices like that. Um, that is in 2012, looks like, uh, replace EGR valve and accelerator pump. Another oil service, set of spark plugs, distributor cap rotor, fuel filter, ignition wires. And this shop did a great job on this because we saw how the ignition wires are neatly routed to uh, mimic the original uh, placement. Uh, another oil service. Another set of spark plugs, uh, obviously throughout the 10 years of ownership. So here it is, uh, spark plugs, oil service. And here we are looking at uh, a dormitory disclosure statement. So when this vehicle was sold, it had in 2010 uh, sale date, March 2010, it had 47,000 miles. Here's consumer information for catalog. Uh, the GMC Buick dealer that sold the car to the second order that traded with us, a follow-up letter was mailed. And then we get into the purchase paperwork. Actually, this is bill of lading for the vehicle delivery here to Massachusetts 10 years ago. Here's the purchase receipt for the vehicle purchase. And we even have the uh, window tag from when the vehicle was advertised. So this folder, will be available for you with the vehicle. And here is another look at the car from the window of our office. It is gorgeous. It is beautiful. 
And again, I'll remind you in 1977, Cadillac decided to slim down on the size of the vehicle. So this is a reduced version of the Cadillac. By today's standard, it is a massive, enormous automobile. Thank you very much for viewing uh, videos from Alpha Cars YouTube channel. Please stay tuned for more. Thank you.